Hi guys, Kirk from the Forever Homestead. Uh, so today we're putting power on the property. Well, we're starting to put power on the property. We're back where the uh, the bunkie's gonna be. You can see the, the can that the bunkie's gonna be in. Um, then this is the way we come into the property, or uh, into this little bunkie area, camping area, whatever you wanna call it. Come in back that trail there, ah, right there. And then the drive kinda comes along here, but in the middle of it, there's this patch of juniper and, and stuff like that. So we're just putting a small to start 400 watt system uh, and, and then I'll probably, just a stationary 400 watt. And then I'm probably gonna add uh, like a 200 watt tracking, depending on, on the power that we find that we're using in here. Uh, 400 watt and I think it's gonna be um, four batteries, three, yeah, probably three or four batteries. Uh, and they're like 120 amp hours a piece uh, with a 400 watt system. Uh, and it's summertime when we're gonna be living in here. So uh, there won't be a lot of power being used there. Yeah, and the, you can see the tractor sitting there. Uh, I'm just having to take the ax right now and cut through some of the juniper so I can dig the, I'm, I'm using some six by sixes for the, the ground mount system, which I'll show you in a, a few minutes. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna get digging. And uh, so basically, as we're looking right now, um, the, the panels will be facing right back towards us because south is, is this way. Uh, I'll do a little bit more of an accurate measurement than, than uh, my Boy Scout-ness right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, give you an update in a little, little, little while. Uh, quick update. So I've got the two... Uh, can you see them? I've got the two uprights in. Uh, one there... One there. Oh, it's hard to do this. I'm backwards on the camera. Uh, so they're in, leveled. Uh, they're facing, facing south. Um, and if you, on the edges here, so there's there's three rails that are going to go across from one point to the other. Uh, and those are cut on 45 degree angles. And uh, the reason they're 45 is where we are. Our latitude is is pretty close uh, to 45 degrees. We're 44.8 or something like that. And for a, uh, a rack mount system, uh, one that doesn't track the sun and all that kind of stuff, you're supposed to put it on whatever your latitude is. I'm gonna get these uh, verticals on and then we, um, we can start mounting some solar panels. So there's the first uh, two upright. So that's gonna do, there's gonna be one panel the second panel, and then down here, there's going to be another upright with a panel and a panel. I just I haven't put this bottom one on yet, so I can walk in uh, into that space there when I'm when I'm setting up the top two panels. So I'll get those on now, and then we can I'll uh, get that bottom rack on. There's four or two of four panels on. Um, now we just have to put bottom rail along there. Um, the top clips here are all going to overlap. They're pretty simple to put on. They have these little L clips that come with it. Uh, so you just screw the first, you threw the, they're just aluminum. Screw the, or bolt the first ones to the, uh, to the solar panel itself. And you can see it bolted on there, and then the other side of it, you just kind of screw down into the framing. They're actually made for Unistrut. Uh, you can use the bolts and stuff with a unistrut, but I didn't have any. Uh, this is easily available, so this is what we're using for now. All right, we got all four panels on. Um, you can see the uh, the screws go down through the center on the middle one. And then top and bottom, they just have a rail of their own. Uh, so that's, that's 400 watts in panels. In the next video, we'll actually get them all tied together, all the electricals, all the electrics done and all that. Um, the back here, you can kind of see uh, each one has its own positive and negative. So we're going to, I'm just still trying to decide what to do. I think I'm going to build a shelf underneath uh, between each of these supports. So there's one here uh, and then the same thing on this side. I think I'm going to build a bit of a support between the two of them. And then this can, until we have a, a permanent bunkie, I think then this can house the um, the batteries. I'll build like a waterproof box, shed, something like that, out of some scrap material. Uh, and it can house the batteries and the charge controller 
uh, inverter, stuff like that. And um, that way I could put an outside plug um, somewhere here. And then if I'm just working in the yard, I can plug into it. I think for now the power will just be out here and we'll, uh, eventually I can run a trench and, and move some of the, uh, like the charge controller and stuff inside so I can monitor voltage levels and stuff. But, um, that's it for this one. Um, remember if you're liking these videos, make sure you subscribe for all you people that are on a desktop. Uh, there'll be a, a subscribe button. Um, and for those that aren't, I'll have to track it down and do it the old fashioned way. So, um, yeah, remember, like, and share, everyone. Have a good one.